I'll take Stop. it. Stop! You're hurting me! Stop! You're hurting me! Stop. No, you're hurting me! No, I'm not. I'm yes, old. you are! Dive into U.S. corrupt cops on YouTube for a dose of instant karma served to corrupt law enforcement. Subscribe, like, and share to join the fight against corruption. Let's expose the truth and stand united for justice. Jelana Dunlap, a 22-year-old African-American woman, fell victim to police brutality on September 6, 2022, in Fayetteville, Arkansas. Two officers spotted a vehicle pulling over near a field, triggering their suspicion and prompting an investigation. Officer Haddock took the lead in approaching the vehicle and initiating contact with Jelana Dunlap. Here's how their interaction unfolded. I just saw you pull back over here. Any reason why you're back over here? Just kind of look suspicious that you pulled out here in the middle of the field. If you don't mind, that you could, you know, call him on the phone. I'll be glad to speak with him right now. Well, do you have some idea? On him? Okay. Do you mind if I see him? All right. Well, look. Here's the deal. Okay. I hunt fugitives. All right. I, I do. I do fugitive work. Okay. I understand that. I'm not saying that you're in any kind of trouble at all right now. All right. But. We had a guy run from us right over here, and it's just very suspicious that you're pulling up here. Initially, the cop came at Jelana hard, constantly badgering her for additional details despite her earlier disclosure. While she was present, Officer Haddock persisted with his inquiries, perplexed by her unease. He explicitly mentioned his pursuit of fugitives, a fact that could undeniably heighten anyone's anxiety. Wow. Huh? Step out of the vehicle for me. Excuse me. Step out of the vehicle for me. Ma'am. Please stop. Please stop. Okay. Let go of me. Let go of me. If you if you can let go of me, I will. If you can let go of me, ma'am, I will. If you can let go of me, ma'am, I will. Can you undo your seatbelt? Okay, ma'am. Please stop. Can you undo your seatbelt? What are you doing? But yeah, it's unhooked. Ma'am, all I've asked you for is your ID so we can make sure that you're not trespassing. You got me. Officers Bell and Had were in violation of Jelana's rights the moment they pried open her car doors, but she wasn't about to let it slide. Let's witness how the scenario swiftly spirals out of control. Please stop. Stop Please resisting. Stop resisting. Please. I'm not resisting. You got you me. Yeah, you, are. you got me. Okay, all right. What are you Come doing? Come on out. Ma'am, okay, don't drag me out. Well, then get out of the car. I will if you I've will asked let, you multiple times. If you will release my arm. Get out of the car. If you will release my arm, no, I will. Step if you will release my arm, step I will. Because you're grabbing my arm very tightly. Okay. You're, you're grabbing my arm no, very no, no, tightly. No, 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 no. Look, let me go. Okay. And no. I'll get the out. Okay. Step back. And Don't start. Okay. Right okay. Now step okay, out. Now step out of, okay. Now and step you're out not of getting it because I know I haven't did it. Okay. Just step out the car. Okay. How many times have I asked you? Please no? let go of me. Stop. What are you doing? Let go of me. Let go of me. Let go of me because I haven't did anything. Let okay. Go stop. Me. Stop resisting. Stop resisting. Ma'am, stop phone. resisting. Give me my phone. Ma'am, stop. Give me my phone. Stop resisting. Y'all are hurting me. Okay, stop. Stop. You're hurting me. Stop. You're hurting me. Calm down. No, you're hurting me. No, I'm not. I'm yes, you are. I'm yes, you are. She's stop. hurting me. No, she's yes, not. She is. She's not yes, she is. Yes, she is. I'm 105 pounds. Okay, I understand Why that. Why are you hurting me? I have no, not no. did anything wrong. Voorkom pigmentvlekken door de zon met de nieuwe Garnier Daily UV Fluid. Een ultra dunne crème met vitamine C en SPF 50 die de huid laat stralen. Lak niet, niet vet. Dus SPF elke dag. Daily UV Fluid van Garnier Natuurlijk.
I will let you go. Let go. Let go of me. Sit down. Sit down, please. Stop. Sit so down. let me go so I can go up. I'm going to let you go. Okay, dude. Let me go so Come I can go up. I'm holding you up. I don't need you to okay, hold me up. Oh my god. Ma'am. Oh my god. Why are you doing this? Ooh, why are y'all doing this? You started with me. For nothing. You all this is for nothing. With me. Ma'am, all this is for I nothing. I have not done anything wrong. What have I done wrong? What have I done wrong? We are investigating Why am I being charged with? We are investigating you trespassing on the property. But I'm not. Okay. <laughs> And you have resisted, delayed, and obstructed our investigation. Okay? And resisted while we were trying to get you out of the car. Okay? Because I know I I've done nothing but talk to you just like this the whole time. Okay? Can you stand up for me? Are you okay? Go ahead and stand up for me because you're hyperventilating. Here, let's stand up. Why, why, why are you why are you so excited? Cause I know I did wrong. Y'all got over here with me. I, I know what property this is. My boss just bought this property at the beginning of the year. Okay. What the fuck about? Y'all don't even know. <laughs> The dame required medical attention following what looked like a panic attack. Officer Haddock and the captain who showed up allowed her a brief moment to compose herself and regain control of her breathing. I can't believe this. Woo! Oh, Lord, this is a gift. It is! You ready? All right, we got some tissues. I'm gonna stand you up. One, two, three. Oh, there we go. Right. Here, I'm gonna take your glasses off for a second, okay? Okay, I'm gonna wipe some of the sweat off, okay? Okay, look at me for a second. All right, listen. All right, listen, look at me for a second. Right now, you're not you're not in any trouble. So why am I in handcuffs? Okay, because right now, listen, I'm just looking. Why am I in I'm not in trouble. Right now you just being I know right. I know I did wrong. All right, right now you just being detained. Then we send you under arrest. Okay? But what have I done wrong? I have to get wrong. Okay, so this is the thing, all right? We were over here in this area looking for somebody. Alright? Well it ain't me. No, it ain't you. Right? Okay, so what do you mean? Hold on a second. Let me finish. Alright? He came over here to talk to you to find out if he knew anything about what was going and on. I just said I did it. Right. Okay, and that's fine. We're gonna do our thing, and then we're probably gonna cut you loose, okay? And I'm gonna need that name for real, cause all of that was unnecessary. All of what? Uh, ripping my fanny pack off and trying to throw me out the car. Like that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Get her information. Right. I will let you leave. I said, but I don't know who you are. I don't know whose property this is. You pull down here suspicious. I'm, I'm get your information because you can go on your way. Right. And she's like just breathing. I, as soon as I walked into the car, she's like just deep breaths. Like her, like I mean, all the indicators that she was nervous about something. Okay. So I opened up the door. I had to go over there. I said. And just open up the door and we'll get her out of the car because she was trying to leave. You had so your I, camera on that time. Yeah, so I, so I reached over there, I took the seatbelt, turned the car off, put the keys on top of the car. We went to go get her out, and I said, hey, just let her go. She ain't going keys on the car. Let her get out of the car on her own accord. And then she said, you ain't getting me. And that's whenever we went to go put handcuffs on her. And then she just kept death gripping her fanny pack with her ID like she didn't want us to give her. She didn't want us to get her name. Okay. So Bell's an extra fanny pack on All right. Multiple I colors. asked her because she the one who ripped it off. Where my fanny pack at? Give me all that. Is it glossy? Because it's in the car. <laughs> you got a good phone number, uh, Jelena? Is that how you pronounce it? Jelana. Jelana. You got a good phone number? No. No, sir. Okay. Look, what did I tell you when I was talking to you over there? Okay, but all that 
that that bitch did over there was unnecessary. I was talking to you, and I, I would have got out the and car then, if you told, I, and did told I not, me to get out the car. Not, did I not let you get out the car? No? After, after no, no, hang that. On. But, but, did I not but say? But she didn't have to do all that. I, Just because you are all, all, all males, don't mean you got to act like you were daddy. I understand. Yes, please. Where the phone is? Can I say that right? Yep. Okay. Your, your phone is on the front seat of the car. Everything's in the car. Okay. Alright, so hey, real quick. Alright. Oh my god, what the duck? What the duck? Jelana was seething with anger for a valid cause. They didn't require five offices to comprehend why she was parked there. Later it surfaced that Jelana was employed in the real estate sector and her parking spot happened to be her boss's private property. So did the cops genuinely possess any legitimate grounds to be present there? Here's the stance Jelana and her legal representatives took regarding this issue. Uh, like I said, I'm Harry Daniels. Uh, first of all, thank you for being here today. It's a beautiful day here in Fayetteville, North Carolina. Uh, today, this morning, we filed a federal lawsuit on behalf of Ms. Jolanda uh, Dunlap against the city of Fayetteville, uh, Officer Ryan Haddock, uh, Detective Amanda Bell, John and Jane Doe's uh, one through a hundred. Those are officers that was on the scene that we are not aware of their names at this time, but we'll be fully aware of their names once we get the video recordings as Mr. Johnson stated. Uh, make no mistake about it. Uh, we are here seeking justice on behalf of Ms. Dunlap. Uh, what happened to her should not happen. Ms. Dunlap was doing her job on the day in question of September 6th, her assigned duties, and she was approached by uh, people who are took, who was taking an oath to protect and serve the citizens of Cumberland County and Fayetteville, North Carolina. Uh, they did the exact opposite. Uh, they approached her on private property, uh, questioned her, uh, she gave him her information, identifying information. She gave him her name. That's all. She, she wasn't required to do that, but she did it. Uh, that wasn't good enough. They wanted identification. You know, some people say, you know, where I'm from, a uh, long time ago, they wanted slave papers. You need to show who you are. But she identified who she was to him. That wasn't good enough. You can see Jelana, besides Jelana, she's never been in trouble. They demanded her ID, and she refused well her right because North Carolina it's not a search, a stop, in the identify state. Uh, that's been clearly established here in the state of North Carolina, and she was under no duty to identify herself. Um, I really just want to speak up for people who can't speak up for themselves. Um, also for the people who things happen like this to them, and they don't say anything to nobody, and you don't tell anybody. And I just want to make it clear that you you have to speak up for yourself. You have to you have to demand respect, whether they wear a badge or whether they're just in regular clothes. And if you're wearing that badge, if you're wearing a uniform, then you're supposed to protect and serve, not harm innocent people. Jelana felt a chilling mix of fear and anger shaken to her core. Jelana, alongside legal team, had filed a lawsuit against the Fayetteville police, seeking compensation of $75,000. The lawsuit alleged severe emotional and physical distress caused by the blatant